I chose this image to start off my visual interpretation of where do the children grow because it perfectly represents the opening line of the poem. I've chosen to use photographs from my early childhood years because it shows different phases of me growing up, which is the theme of the poem. The second picture was taken right before my first time on the day camp bus. It was a milestone and a memory I will always remember. I was very proud and excited to be going off on my own. I felt so grown up. The next image is of me in my backyard at my fourth birthday party. As a child, I loved my swing set and spent many hours playing outside. All I wanted to do growing up was to play in my backyard, and I begged my parents to play with me. The next two pictures fit perfectly and really reflect who I was as a child. What I love about this picture is that as young as I was, I took the time to smell the flowers, to appreciate their beauty and enjoy the simplicity of nature. There's a sweet innocence to this picture that shows another side of me. I remember raising my dad down the block while I was on my bike and he ran beside me. I was very energetic and active when I was younger. For the first This Is How The Children Grow, I decided to use a picture of me looking out of a window that was captured through a car mirror. I like this image because on the mirror it said objects in the mirror are closer than they seem. Just like growing up, our childhood passes so quickly and goes by so fast right before our eyes. This next picture is of my sister and me playing together as we did almost every day while my mother watched over us. I was always encouraged to try new things which is why I decided to use the image of my father holding me on a horse for the very first time. I learned to not be afraid and trying new things made me feel proud. I used this picture of my ballet class where we followed our teacher and tried to mimic her moves. We all wanted to be just like her and did whatever she did. Children learn through the examples set by adults in their lives. When I was six years old, we got a puppy and my father let me take him out all by myself. My dad was teaching me responsibility while I was teaching my dog how to walk on a leash. This was my favorite doll, and to this day, I still remember opening up my big gift box and being so overjoyed and excited because I've been wanting to have him for so long. Playing with this doll brightened my mood no matter what, and I remember taking him with me wherever I went. I used to pretend we would go on secret adventures and no one could have stopped us. My sister and I used to lie on the kitchen floor for hours, playing, drawing, and simply being kids. We loved to play creatively and had wild imaginations, inventing worlds of our own. When you're not looking, don't you know, this is when the children grow. I selected two pictures, one of me blowing out my first birthday candles and the other one of me blowing out my third birthday candles. This is showing how time flies by so fast, and each birthday seems to come more and more quickly. This picture was taken when I was learning to walk. Notice my mother's hands behind me, ready to support me if I needed her. Even though I may not have been old enough to talk, my sister and I have always had a great relationship. We still have our special one-on-one -on -one talks, and we both know that we're always here for each other. Family is very important to me. My family has always been there to make me feel safe and out of harm's reach. This next image is of my mother holding me tightly in her arms, not letting me go, which made me feel safe and secure. I chose this picture because growing up, my mother always sang a song called Never Gonna Let You Go. This image brings back great memories and all, of all the times she held me in her arms and sang the song to me. Growing up, I was never good at sharing, but I was always willing to work on it. You can see that in this picture, I was not happy about having to share my crafts with Samara Prupis. Yet I guess I must have done something right, since we're still friends 14 years later. Every time my older cousin Seth came over, he made time to read me my favorite story. He showed me the value of patience and love, along with many other lessons. Every year, it was a tradition to take the same picture on the rocks in front of my house on our first day of school to show how much we grew from year to year. Looking back, regardless of where we went and where we continued to grow, all these memories, lessons, and experience helped shape me into the person I am today. For the last This Is Where The Children Grow, I used a picture of me on a ladder, symbolizing the different stages of childhood and how we continue to grow into the person we are today.